please, please, I want this one. It'll make me so happy if you get it for me. I'll love you forever. Oh, Arena. My name is Lamb, and this one here, shamelessly begging my parents, is my little sister, Rena. Unlike me, she's a master of begging and clinging. Or maybe better put, buttering up? Here it goes again, Rena's. Oh, please. Oh, Rena, you really are a spoiled little thing. She really is. All right, all right, we'll get you this, but make sure you make the most of it. Oh, thank you, Daddy, Mommy. I love you guys. Hold it right there, guys. You guys are spoiling her way too much. What? How could you say that, Lamb? You are so mean. Rena, you have to stop being so selfish. Come on, you can wait until you get it for your birthday, right? It's okay, Lamb. If you girls are happy, we are happy too. Do you hear that, Lamb? Stay out of this. My dear Lamb, such a good girl. What do you want? We want to get you something too. Guys, that's not what I meant. I don't need you to get me anything. I'll get what I want with my own money. <laughs> Our oldest is such a grown-up. I'm not like Rina, and I'm fine with that. I'm proud of how I build my life. It's not that our parents have preferred Rina over me. I know that they love us both equally, and that's why they respected my stance. But they respected Rina's too. And years have gone by like that. Our physical age has changed, but not the way we think, and neither the way Rina thinks. Now, an adult, but Rena doesn't work or even go out, leaving off our parents' money. Come on! Go, go, go! Yes! I got it! Ha! I finished this game too, and I don't feel like playing it again. Oh well, I'll just ask my parents for a new one. Mommy, please! I want a new game, please! This one here! It's supposed to be real fun! When can I get it? Um, Rena. We need to talk. Yeah? Mom and Dad are going to retire next year, which means we won't be able to spend as much money like now. What? Which means that you, Rena, may want to think about working. That's right, sweetheart. Why don't you give it a try? No! Oh no! Oh, I got it. Wait here. I'll be right back. Thank goodness. Looks like she understood. Yeah. You know, she does listen to us. Mom, Dad, take a look at these. Oh, job postings? Yup. Look how many there are. Like this one here. The pay is pretty nice, and I think you can apply your work experience here. And this one over here. It looks perfect for you, Mom. Job posting for your parents, Pony. That's how she understood us. Um, Rena, you... What's wrong, guys? See how many there are? Come on, choose one. Um, Rena? What your dad was referring to is a job for yourself. That's right. Any way you look at it, we'll die before you. How will you live after that? Me? Me working? What? How? Hmm, I just don't think I'm the type to earn money by working. I think I'm rather the type to spend it. A real nemesis for all working people, Booney. <sighs> alright. We still have a year before we retire. Think about it, alright? We will, of course, help you any way we can, okay? What? How can this be? I thought you guys would take care of me forever. My parents, out of work. They will feed me then. Huh? Ah, I'd completely forgotten that it was today. Right, me too. Huh? Who's coming? Hey guys, I'm home. Hi, sweetheart. Come, come, sit with us. It's great to see you, sweetheart. That day, I came home to my parents without any knowledge of the conversation that was taking place then. I wanted to introduce my boyfriend, Heidi, to them since we decided to get married. Let's just get down to it, shall we? Hello. It's very nice to meet you both. My name is Kyrie and I... P please marry me! 
marrying her parents, Boony. It's okay, Kari. You can relax. We support your decision. <laughs> I was feeling relieved to see my parents like Kaidi. But then... What? Wait a second, Lamb. Are you getting married? Oh, hi, Rina. So, you're Rina. Nice to meet you. Hello. Yes, it's me, Rina. Good to meet you too, Kaini. Why don't you get your new little sister a house by the marina? What the heck? Rina, I see that you haven't changed at all. Did you guys adopt her by any chance? Nope, she's our flesh and blood. 100%. Please, Rina, stop. It's embarrassing. Oh, come on, Mom. Kaini is our family now. Relax. You can take me out to lunches, dinners, or whatever. Anytime. She's already decided on her next target, Boony. Rina, stop thinking about how to get money from people around you. You really need to start making a living on your own. She's right, Rina. Why can't you be more like your sister? Excuse me? Are you lecturing me? Get off me. I don't get any of you. How can you guys be so mean to me? We are family. I hate you. All of you. Stop it, Rina. Kairi is visiting us for the first time. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Ah, uh, there she goes. What is she, a baby? Kairi, dear, I'm so sorry you had to see that. We were having a bit of a disagreement before you two came. It's our fault. We spoiled her too much. They're not entirely wrong. Even I think they spoiled her too much. Rina has always been very good at buttering up my parents. And she doesn't know how else to be. What should we do? I want to help too, but... Just then, Rina was pouting in her room. Huh? What is going on, really? Everything has been going just the way I've wanted. Stop playing games and start working, is it? It's the same as telling me to stop being a human. If you are a human, get a job, Boony. But my parents are retiring for sure, so maybe I should have thought about it before. Maybe I can marry someone rich, but I feel too lazy to find one. Oh well, it'll all work out. I'm sure of it. It always has. Enough with unpleasant things. Let's play a game for a change. A few days later, as I was home spending time with Kaidi. Oh, it's Rina. Hi, Lamb. I just wanted to apologize for the other day. I've been thinking about it and really understood that I can't go on living like this. That's okay, Rina. I'm glad you understood. Let me know if you need my help in finding a job. I really appreciate that. I'm looking forward to seeing you at your wedding. We didn't really get to talk the other day. Tell me more about Kaidi. Where does he work? At a big company like you? You could say that. Oh, wow. So you two must be making quite a lot. Where are you guys gonna live? For now, my apartment. It at least has a living room, dining room, and a kitchen, so... You're kidding, right? That's too small. I'll send you some suggestions, okay? I got them. How did you manage to find them so fast? Um, Kaidi, Rina wants to apologize to you too. Yeah, okay. Hi, Kaidi. How I behaved the other day at my parents. My bad. Excuse me? We're now family, right? You're my big brother. So why don't you help feed your little sister Rina? You're not with the lame Rina lingo, pony. Although, we'll be living together. I won't disturb you two lovebirds, so don't you worry about a thing. Excuse me? By the way, what do you guys do about meals since you both work? Do you eat out? I'll feed myself just fine as long as you give me the money too. So, don't worry about me. Hey, Rina, I can hear that too. Oops, not cute at all. Okay, guys. So that's what I need, alright? Thanks, bye! I'm sorry about this. 
My family and I will take care of her. I mean, my parents are retiring, so now it's my turn to look after her. Hey, what the heck? Why are you saying that? What do you mean? You can rely on me. You know that, right? You're gonna be my wife. Oh, Kaini. Besides, that's what she's aiming at. That you'll think you need to look after her. You yourself are spoiling her too. You do know that, right? Me? What I mean is that being overprotective of her is not in her best interest. Why don't you and I think what's best for her together? Right. Thank you, Kaidi. My wedding day. Six months after Kaidi's first visit to my parents. I was feeling nervous for many reasons. One of them being because of a certain plan I had in mind, aside from the wedding. Ah, I'm so nervous. Rina will be so angry. Let's just first wait for her to show up. At the reception, while Kaidi and I were talking. Hello? Hello? Is this the wedding front desk? Um, yes it is. You can trust your wedding gift money with us here. Wedding gift money? Eh? Sorry? 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 <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Uh, my bad. I'm the bride's sister. So? So, since I'm a family member, why would I give wedding gift money? I'm sending the newlyweds congratulatory wishes and love. That's my gift. Please let them know that I'm sincerely congratulating them. A monster relative? I can't believe that's Lamb's sister. Uh, would you sign your name here, please, then? Sure, sure, my name, it's Rena, and I'm the bride's precious little sister. Miss Rena, Miss Rena. Oh, um, hey, what's with the hold up? These heels and the dresses are making me tired. I'm not used to them. I don't see your name on the guest list. Huh? What are you talking about? It's Rena. Rena. I'm the bride's sister. Why wouldn't you invite me? Look again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll check with the bride myself. Hang on. Excuse me? Who do you think you are? Right back at ya. Is everything alright? What's going on? Ah, it's you, Rena. Ma'am, look how they're training me. They're saying that my name isn't on the guest list. How dare they? You will let me in, right, Lamb? Ahem, <clears throat> as a matter of fact, you are indeed not invited. That's why your name isn't on the list. What? Wait, what? You didn't invite me? What's going on? You can't do this to me! I'm her sister! Did you receive the invitation? Um, not that I recall, but... But, I just thought you didn't need to because we are family! Oh, I get it. You are still mad at me for that phone call, aren't you? I'm sorry, Lamb. I truly am. I behaved improperly. Come on, Lamb. We've always made up after fights. Truce? No. Not this time. It's over. I'm cutting off our ties. Huh? I don't want you sucking my life out of me like a pest. How? How can you train me like this? Mom? Dad? Lamb is bullying me. Ah. Uh, we can't go on like this, Rena. Or you'll ruin Lamb's life. Huh? This is also to prevent you from ruining your own life. You have the power to be independent. And not using it is an unfortunate thing on its own. What? Ah, oh, Kaini. Watch out, jeez. How can they treat me like this? You're my brother. You won't deserve me like they are, right? Why don't you make like a tree and, and get out? What? It was actually my idea to cut off our ties with you. Why don't you even try a little to live on your own? Rina seemed to have taken the incident at my wedding really hard and got a job with her dad's help. It looks like her first taste of a working life was hellishly bitter. At times, she mopes around but hasn't gone a wool yet. Dan? Mom? 
Yes, yes sweetheart. sweetheart. I'm so sorry for all these years. I also wanted to thank you, so I got you this with my first paycheck. Oh, Rina. We are so proud of you. I see that you can do it if you put your mind to it. <laughs> Shut up, this is nothing. <laughs> My family has had a fair share of issues, but finally, its youngest is making her baby steps toward an independent life. What I did may have been a rough treatment, but I like to think that it did treat her right. Now that we are all happy, 